That's good. So that's a no. The work to take you to Cherry Tree Hill in St. Peter. So I was in here. I will start from here. And now head back down to Morgan Lewis. And take you guys to Morgan Lewis Beach. From here, you can have a good scenery of the parish of St. Andrew and the East Coast on the whole. We are in, we are looking over. We are overlooking Chalky Mount. So this is Chalky Mount here. The hills of Chalky Mount. It is referred to as Chalky Mount because it resembles because of the clear hillside. The hills in Chalky Mount are made from clay, and it is the utensils from the clay there that are used to make the pottery at the Chalky Mount pottery. And then we can see all to the east coast. We can see. We can see. Morgan Lewis Beach. Um, Bath Beach. I mean, Morgan Lewis Beach, Barclays Park Beach, Cattle Wash. And we can see Soup Bowl, Bashiba, Tent Bay, Foster Hall, Glen Burnie. Martins Bay, Bath Beach, Concept Beach, and Skeets Bay, all on the East Coast. So we're now walking down, we're now descending Morgan Lewis Hill once again. So once again, I'm in the parish of St. Andrew, which is at the eastern end of the island, and this is a part of the Scotland district. The parishes of St. Andrew and St. Joseph here in Barbados are the two parishes best referred to as the Scotland district. And they are referred to as such because they resemble the Scotland countryside in England. We can see Morgan Lewis Beach here. All the East Coast. You can see all across to the Soil Conservation Unit in St. Andrew, at Highgate, St. Andrew. That's the, the parish of St. Andrew. Here in Barbados is the parish with the more soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the parish where you will get your soil. Yeah, yeah. You know, the sending Margaret Lewis Hill, approaching the windmill once again. Looking back at the hill again. Beach. And the East Coast, entire East Coast. And the cows here. Before St. Andrew and St. Joseph are the two parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the Scotland district, and they're referred to as such because they resemble the Scotland countryside in England. And they're the two eastern parishes here in Barbados.
one of the two, the two of the eastern parishes here in Barbados. The eastern parishes comprise of St. Philip, St. John, St. And St. Philip, St. John, St. Joseph, and St. Andrew. But, it is, but the two parishes allotted to be the Scotland district is St. Andrew and St. Joseph because of this resemblance of the Scotland countryside in England. And they are the two hilliest parishes in Barbados. And scenic as well. The Scotland, the Scotland district extends into St. Thomas, close to Harrison Scale, because that is in the close part of Zemmery to St. Andrew and St. Joseph. It extends into St. John with Martins Bay side and Glen Burnie, and it extends into St. Peter with Farley Hill and Boscobel. This wheel will take you back to Boscobel in St. Peter. This hill will take you back to Boscobel and back to Cherry Tree Hill back to Diamond Corner, or that is in St. Peter. So Bosco Bell in Barbados is in close part, is in the parish of St. Peter, and is also in the, in close part, is to the parish of St. Andrew and St. Lucy. So St. Andrew is northeast. So walking down Marvel and Richard. And this hill here will take you back to um, St. Nicholas Abbey, which was a sugar plantation. It also has stores growing in Cane and they also mix rum and so on there. Make rum, manufacture rum, and they also have a train running there. The train that runs is a train, I think it's $40 or something, or $80 to enter. The train runs, through Saint, runs from St. Nicholas Abbey all down to Cherry Tree Hill. I think it runs all down here, I'm not sure. But years ago, there was a train running in Barbados. It used to run through, um, it used to run from Bridgetown to Belle Plain in St. Andrew, and it used to run through Concept Bay in St. John, all on the East Coast. It used to run through um, Concept Bay, Bath Beach, Martins Bay, Glen Burnie, Foster Hall, Tent Bay, Bathsheba, Cattle Wash, Soup Bowl, Cattle Wash, and would end at Bell Plain in St. Andrew. They still have train tracks there. That Not train tracks, the train line is still there, or the train is to travel, and it's there. This is a closer view of Morgan Lewis Windmill. This is a mint of Morgan Lewis Windmill. And you can see the East Coast in the background, along with the hills of Chalky Mount. You can see all about the Saddleback Ridge, it's in Joseph as well. St. Andrew here in Barbados was renamed after St. Andrew of Scotland. Morgan Lewis, St. Peter, in St. Andrew, sorry. So to get into the parish of St. Andrew, you have to go up a hill. I mean, go down a hill, whether you're coming from St. Peter, St. Thomas, or St. Joseph, you have to go down a hill to get into St. Andrew. And when leaving St. Andrew, you have to come up a hill. Oh, Morgan Lewis here, the cows are. The cows. There's a place up here that manufactures milk. 
you think. And this is Morgan Lewis with a new here. The rear end. Morgan Lewis with a new. And the cows over here. Here's some cold pool. I have to travel. I have to step through. Some more cows here. Then we walk through by the windmill. And look back at the Margot Lewis here. I don't know what part but we're gonna move. This is where the coast. And this is Morgan Lewis we're gonna move. Risk cease operation in nineteen 47 but it still operates going in can it is open for tours it is the only work remaining with a million barbados and the long working with mill as well Lewis windmill here, the lower working windmill in Barbados. Saint Saint Morgan Lewis Sugar Mill, circa 1727. The Barbados National Trust is who owns it now, and it is the Caribbean's the largest and only working windmill. Into the hills of St. Andrew. This is the entrance to Morgan Lewis Windmill, and this is the hill straight up to Cherry Tree Hill on the Bosco Bell and St. Nicholas Abbey. You can see Morgan Lewis Beach. Here, So it's good to take a walk through the rustic countryside instead of going on the highway or on the roadside and get you guys to the beauty. You can see the antenna for CBC which is in Sturgis St. Thomas, the light blinking. Saint says, "Be real, the dog." You can see Morgan Lewis Beach from here as well. 
back, up, back up to the hill till Morgan Lewis windmill. I will have to leave Morgan Lewis Beach for another time because time is getting away and it's getting dark and the road to Morgan Lewis Beach is lonely Morgan Lewis Beach is a lonely beach so I will not go down there at this time you can see the windmill up the hill here as well this is the track to Morgan Lewis Beach Back to Morgan Lewis Beach. I will leave that for another time. So, I've now reached the end. I'm going to wait for the Shorey Village bus when it comes back to take me back to the town. Got the Shorey Village bus turns around here, just below the windmill. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening. And don't forget to like, share and comment. And check out my YouTube. And those of you who are watching via Facebook, my YouTube channel is Dan Roy's Barbados Travel Vlogs. And my Facebook is Dan Roy the More. And back here at the crossing with the Shore Village bus turns around to proceed back to Bridgetown. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed evening.